We're going to look at a few more food labels once we get into carb counting. All right, so carb counting. How many of you are familiar with carbohydrate counting? Does anybody here carb count? You guys are a quiet bunch. Come on. I don't know how to carb. You do not know or you do know? I do not know how to count carbs. All right, so this will be good for you. Yeah. How about the others? Are you a carb counter? Do you do carb counting? I pay attention. Okay. Uh, honesty, I like that. Anybody back here carb count or just kind of watch it? Okay. Well, hopefully after leaving this class today, you'll be more savvy on carb counting and maybe be a little bit more cognitive of carb counting because it's an easy and flexible way for a diabetic to plan their meals. Um, it really does give a lot of flexibility. So within the context of carb counting, one carb choice is equal to 15 grams of carbohydrate. So that food label that we just looked at, it had 15 or 14 grams per serving. So that is one ch carb choice. So if you were to drink that whole bottle, that would be four total. So for every one carb choice, it's 15 grams. And then if we multiply that by two and make two carb choices, that would be 30 grams of carbohydrate. And then if we multiply it by three, that's three carb choices for 45 grams. So when you're reading labels or looking at serving sizes, as we delve into the standard si serving sizes, um, you got to think about that in portion sizes or label reading, is how many carbs is this? So back to this food label, because I really, I love food labels. I love when diabetics use food labels because they really are a good tool for you. Almost everything we buy except for meat and vegetables and fruit from the produce have a food label. And some meats do, and some fruits do as well, but um, for all the other products, typically there is a food label that goes with it. So on the left-hand side here, what, again, do you want to look at first? What do you think you should look at first on this? Well, total carbs, so what is that? No, we're not going to worry about sugars here. But total carbs is the correct answer. I want you to look at total carbs. So how many carbs does this food have? Now is that for the whole box? 62 total. It would be 62 total. Or if you just wanted 30, you would have to consume how much? One cup. So if you just wanted that 30. Now what does 31 grams of carb mean? How many choices is that? That's two choices. So within your meal plan, if you had a cup of this food on the left, you would have to count it as two carb choices. Easy to do, and if you wanted to have the whole container, which is two cups, apparently, because there's only two servings per container, that would be four carb choices. So we're back up to the number of the Gatorade. <laughs> and most of you are not gonna have four carb choices. Men are per meal, women not so much, unless We'll get to that. I like to jump ahead. I'm so sorry. So here on the right, this nutrition fact label, what do you go to first? The total carbohydrates, which is right here, which is how many? 14 grams. So how many carb choices is that? One for how much? This one's a little trickier. One ounce, and if you have a scale, you can measure one ounce, but luckily this manufacturer has been kind enough to say that's about 21 pieces, all right? So yes, you should probably count them out the first couple of times you consume this food. I'm not, I don't know, probably something like goldfish would be my guess. Um, you should count that out the first couple of times you eat it, and then you get an idea visually of how much that is. We don't have to always be exact, but at least the first few times you should get a real good feel for that. So the other things you can look at is calories if you're calorie counting, but as a diabetic I really recommend carb counting. If you have a few pounds that you want to lose, we just cut back on the carbs and that will cut back on the calories, all right? But you have to do that within reason, especially when you're on medications. You don't want to just get carbs out of your diet because you think they're bad because you believe what Dr. Atkins has to say. Um, that can be actually dangerous for a diabetic. So 
both of these foods, um, this has two, two, car, two carb choices for one cup, and this has one per 21 pieces. So that's how you use that food label within the context of carb counting.